Well, hello, everybody. Uh, first, let's take a little spin around the block here. See if we got anything new. Looks like there's a few new things around here. We got some Remington, Honest Abe on the million dollar bill. Uh, there's this case side buster that I want to show. Uh, the lollipop is new. And down here, there's some new stuff. But let's get right, cut right to the chase. Uh, first off, thanks everybody for the well wishes. I'm feeling a lot better. Got my energy back. I've uh, been going back to work. So everything's good. Um, now, I came across, first let's show, everybody's seen this, this is my pit bull, I've had it for three years, I paid $180 for it at the time, which I probably overpaid, uh, but I wanted it real bad, and um, so yeah, I paid a hundred and eighty for it, and it's a beauty. Actually, this is the knife that touched me off in the collecting. At the time when I bought this, I had probably eight knives, and all them eight knives were bought for you know specific uh, purposes, whether it be a work knife, uh, a home protection knife, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But anyway, there's my beauty, and I came across something the other day, and I got it in the mail a couple days ago. Bam! Another pit bull bulldog. Now I got this for a hundred bucks. Which is a lot cheaper than 180. So I'm going to throw it out there. I figured I'd purchase it because there was a lot of interest in mine. Um, so basically, I'm going to put this up for sale for $100 if anybody wants it. I mean, that's an outstanding price. You're not the rare as it is. And if you do come across one, it's probably not going to be for a hundred dollars. Uh, let's get a little even down here. Now this one's actually in better condition than mine. It has less flaws. Mine has some flaws. But I'm going to sell the good one. Um... Now, if you look at that front piece of pearl there, it has kind of like a, a lava type uh, thing to it. I don't know if that's coming off on the camera. But we're going to close it up and take a look at it in a minute. Uh, yeah, let's just do that now. There is one little flaw on this which is nothing compared to to mine right up on this blade there's a little blade rub let's see if we can get it to show right about there other than that this is a beautiful knife. All right, let's close it up and take a look at the bottom. So yeah, I came across this as a deal, so I figured I'd pass the deal on to somebody else. I'm not looking to make any money off it. It's 1998, no gaps, it's a little slight tiny separation here and here, but 
it's nothing as compared to mine, which has a much bigger gap. So there's mine and here's yours. Whoops. I want to scratch them all up. Let's just put them down here. Mine here, yours there. Let's put this one. Another thing that I've seen is better on this newer one is the shield it fits a lot tighter than mine. If you look at the shield on mine, you'll see some openings. And this is a much better fit. Now, I'm getting real nitpicky when I'm doing that. And the pearl is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, to be honest, I like mine better. It has a little, little color to it. This one here has more spectacular lava flow type deal going on. It's got a lot of colors. A lot of colors in here. Whereas mine's got more colors towards the center. But let's take a look at the back side. We take a look at the bottom again on yours. Uh, it's 1998, so you have the uh, patina on the brass. I don't want to wipe that off. I'll let you, if you want to clean that and shine it up, I would uh, suggest leaving it. Here's your opposite side, pile side, which always isn't as impressive as the front piece on both of them. Let's come over the top. Oh, look at that, two beauties. And let's run through the blades real quick. Okay, first off, you're going to have your spade blade. Lots of pop. Oh. Uh, it's going to say 1998, and there's your little pit ball. Blade is immaculate. It's 98, 22 years old. There's the little bit of blade rub on the back. Which mine has even more blade rub than that. Okay, next blade. Sheep's foot coping, saw, uh, coping blade. That has a little blade rub. But we'll go through mine too. Nineteen ninety-eight. 
then the big dog. Pitbull trademark. Now this blade and the frosting is a lot sharper than mine. Uh, we'll pull that out. You can see mine's, mine's a little worked up. But now we're getting real nitpicky here. But I just want to show you. That it's a beautiful 22 year old knife. At a price you probably won't ever find. Okay, and the last blade. It's on the back. Nineteen ninety-eight little pit bull. And that has a little blade rub as well. So, although it's not perfect, as mine is not, you'll see blade rubs and spots on mine. Blade rub there. All basically all in the same spot. So it's pretty much just the way it's all designed to fit in there. Blade rub all on top. So if that doesn't bother you, it's a good knife to buy. If it does, you could still buy it and get away with it because at $100, where I paid 183 years ago, there you go. Comes with box. And let's read what uh, Bulldog has to say. Bulldog brand knives are handmade and each blade is individually hand hammer forged. Over 240 hand operations are in each knife. Due to the many operations by um, due to the many hand operations by the master cutlers, all Bulldog brand knives are offered on a limited basis, guaranteed be, guaranteed to be free of manufacturing defects. Bulldog brand knives, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, even though they're based in Tennessee, these are completely built in Solingen, Germany. Um, whoops. All handcrafted, all 240 steps. Uh, and it says the blades are hand hammer forged individually. And I did notice when you look at these blades, uh, you can see how they're roughed in along the top. There we go. See the grind mark across the top of them to get the edge off. 
which kind of gives its own little flavor. Here's a good view of it here. So it's got that little grind mark, which is pretty cool. But it's a desktop looker. Butterfly it out. Put it under some good lighting. Maybe open your mail with it. However you want to do it. So I'm going to leave an email in the description. And if anyone's interested in buying it for $100 uh, plus shipping and handling. And if it's someone out in the UK that wants it, I, I probably can help with the shipping and handling. If no one wants to buy it, um, I'll keep it. <laughs> I really don't care. Or, or I've also thinking um, I'm 22 subscriptions away from 100. So if no one wants to buy it, I may give it away as the 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, I'm at like 78 now. So yeah, that's 22 more. So that shouldn't be too long. But I'd seen that people had gave uh, some interest in mine. So you could own yours. And at a hundred bucks, I doubt you're gonna find one in this good a shape. So, until we meet again, have a nice day. I'm going to do some more videos. I got a, a Queen Barlow, a Mother of Pearl Seahorse Whittler, um, a Remington little office knife commemorative, and what else? Oh, yeah, I got another little, little Mother of Pearl late 19th century it's actually a fruit knife so i'm going to be doing a couple more vi or a few videos all day today but anyway that's it um like and subscribe leave some comments on the back on on, on the bottom and if anyone wants to buy it uh leave uh hook hook up with the email that i leave and until then, and to all, a good day. Bye-bye.